Now we will discuss regarding the significance of recitation or learning tajweed or you can say memorizing the Quran. Before going into this, I would like to mention, see the learning tajweed is very important. It's very important, especially we as non-Arabs. It becomes our responsibility to learn the tajweed. And you have to understand the importance can be understood. This is not an ordinary book. This is the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. So it has its due rights and character, uh, characteristics. And, uh, and from its rights, it is that you have to learn the tajweed of it. Now the mistakes which we do in the recitation are quite a lot. And we ourselves do not realize that. If I have to give some examples with related to the mistakes which we do in the recitation. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَإِذِ بِتَلَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim alayhi salam, and you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now for example, we recite it as وَإِذِ بِتَلَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ Instead of that, we recite it as وَإِذِ بِتَلَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبُّهُ Instead of Fatha, we convert it into Dhamma. Imagine, the Fatha converted into Dhamma, the meaning changes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim alayhi salam to Na'udhu billah Ibrahim alayhi salam tested Allah. Allahu Akbar. And we do not realize that. It is such a grave mistake. It can be out of hindrance. It can be out of lack of knowledge. But this is not the excuse which we give. This is the book of Allah. It has the right. We have to learn the tajweed and makharij with related to that. Another example, a very common example, which I usually give. There are many places in the Quran where we have the word qalb. Qalb. What does qalb mean? Qalb means heart. Okay, the qaf is heavier. You have to pronounce it heavy. Now, a similar version or a similar letter which is pronounced at uh, like in a light way is kaf. So, instead of qalb, we say kalb. Whenever the word comes kalb in the Quran, we say kalb. Instead of pronouncing it heavily. You know what is the meaning of kalb? It means dog. Allahu Akbar. We, no, we do not realize that. The qalb changes it to kalb in our recitation. And we do not realize that. This is such a grave mistake. This itself shows the importance of tajweed. And this was with regards to the mistakes. Another very common example uh, with related to the harakas, uh, the mistakes in harakas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Fatiha, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Guide us to the straight path. صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ The path of those whom you are pleased with. Now here, صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ Ta has a fatha, ta has a zabar here. Supposingly, we recite the ta fatha into, convert it into ta fatha into dhamma, it will become sirat al ladina an'amtu alayhim. Which means that, guide us, O oh Allah, guide us to the straight path, the path of those whom I am pleased with. Na'udhu billah, you are attributing Allah's uh, sifat into you. You are saying, the path of those whom I am pleased with. This is such a grave mistake. We should understand that, and this itself shows the significance of tajweed in our lives. This is very important, my dear brothers. 